Alright, what's up guys? This is our craft beer stream for meeting our sub goal uh, for March here. We had 100 subs here on Facebook. So the six beers that we are going to be trying today, I'll go over them real quick. We've got the 11th Labor. It is an ale brewed with ap apricots from the Ibex Cellar. Uh, it's made by Schlafly. There's a bottle. Ooh, looks like it's bottle conditioned, or it's got like apricot uh, stuff in the bottom. The eleventh labor, which tasked Hercules with the impossible feat of stealing apricots from Zeus, is our ode to the hero and his virtuous struggle to become immortal. While our journey to acquire the spear's apricots wasn't quite as arduous, or just as triumphant over this juice, juicy sour ale. So it is a sour. Okay. Yep, that is a sour. Definitely smells like sour apricots. All right. Number two. We've got, uh, what is this called? This is called Bianca by Omni Pollo. It is a raspberry maple pancake Lassie Goes. Sour ale with raspberries, vanilla, and maple syrup added. This is the can. Just, uh... Some floral decoration on the front, looks like. Right, we can open it. Holy moly. That smells delicious. It's like a dessert beer. Alright, we got, we got a third sour here, apparently. I don't know what I was doing. We went sour with it today. Uh, this is called... Rodenbach Classic. It is a refreshing Belgian sour ale, oak aged, crafted and brewed in Belgium. Here is the label, Rodenbach Classic. This one's gonna be... Yeah, that was a peacock kale, by the way. Interesting. It smells interesting. All right, so this is my local, one of my local breweries around here. It's called Lost Signal, and this is just their lager. Let's see if we can find anything special about it, if there's anything unusual, if it's just a lager. But I do like to try to support local business when I can, guys. Wait, here's the can. Lost Signal. It's got their Lost Signal lager. Pretty cool they did it. It smells like a lager. Nothing crazy going on. All right, next beer. We went for something a little unusual here. This is called Little Lucy's Hot Pepper Ale. Golden ale with serrano and jalapeno peppers added. <laughs> I'm sneezing just thinking about it. Okay, okay. Here. Here's your bottle. Can. Same thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, David, if that works out, awesome, man. You're expanding your palate to join the good side of the beer world. Yeah, all the sours. Man, some sours I had were just sour. That's not how that works. Okay, uh, what do we got? We've got Monk and Honey. Brewed by Torn Label Brewing Company, LLC, Kansas City, Missouri. Torn Label Brewing Company, what do we got? Anything else? Our Belgian-inspired table beer balances soft sweetness with light spices from the Belgian yeast, producing a unique tea and honey quality. We use local honey to give this beer a distinctly Midwestern twist. Cool. Smells light. Nothing crazy going on there. Where's my cups? We got cups. We've got six different cups, so we're not mixing. Get individual flavors for all of them. We need some space here, though. One, two. Okay. All 
All right, so we're going to look up the first one, guys. We're going to go to beeradvocate.com. See if it's the right ABV. There's a different. I see a different label, but this is the exact ABV from the the one I'm looking at. So this is actually, if it's if it's the same one, sour Berliner Weiss. Yeah. Okay. So this is rated 96 out of 100. It is a world class rated beer on Beer Advocate. All right, all right. 4.2% ABV. Change labels from white to black. Okay, well this is the black one. The one they have on Beer Advocate is white. Man, so what am I supposed to expect from sours? I know it's gonna be sour, but what what am I looking to enjoy from a sour? What do, what do you guys look to enjoy from a sour? Hey, Mauricio. Good afternoon. It is light. Magic is what to expect. It is light. It is sour. It is not super strong or crazy. Hey, and David, thank you for the $20, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Beer money. That was the best money. Also, guys, make sure to check your stimmies if you live in the U.S. A lot of, a lot of stimmies went out today. Check those out. Okay, beer. Anyway, beer is light. It is light. It is sour. Not... Normally what I get out of a sour that I don't like is usually like... Uh, a lot of vinegar flavor. And this is very light on that side. It produces a very, very nice sour flavor. Yeah, that's that's pretty pleasant. Hits your tongue with the bitterness like the You wanna you wanna lick your tongue? Lick your tongue. You wanna scrape your tongue to get the sour off? Like you're eating warheads or something. Yeah, that's a really good one. I definitely recommend. Well, this one says an ale brewed with ap apricots. Juicy, sour ale. But it is like the, the same one that was on there. Wait a second. Let me hold on. Let me let me correct that a little bit. Eleventh labor Schlafly. Yeah, I, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, it's from the Schlafly Tap Room. So yeah, that was it. 96 out of 100. Really, really good sour, guys. All right, beer number two. Beer number two. Man, that smells delicious. This is the... Uh, it's called... I think it's called Bianca. Yeah, otherwise it would be a capital L, not lowercase. Bianca by Omnipoyo. Raspberry Maple Pancake Lassie Goes. Sour Ale with Raspberries, Vanilla, and Maple Syrup added. This one is 7% ABV. Holy, it looked like I poured some syrup. Like, it splashed a little bit, but it looks like there's just syrup sitting on top. Ooh, that is dark. 
Dark red. What are my thoughts on set support? Should be drinking if you're gonna play it. Those are my thoughts. Man, okay. Wait, it's gonna spill. No. All right, so we're gonna look this up before we try it. No, I'm, I'm gonna try it first and then I'll give it my personal rating and see where I think it's gonna stand. How about that? I think that's better. Wow. That is... That's delicious, man! Raspberry Maple Pancake. You get like a really natural blended raspberry flavor. A good amount of maple. Not not crazy, but it's it's kind of thick, a little bit of, a little bit thick and syrupy. Not I don't know. Really interesting how they bring through the the pancake flavor. Beer and delicious don't work in the same sentence. Man, this is a raspberry maple pancake beer. How can you go wrong, dude? This is like a dessert beer. Or wake up in the morning and instead of eating your breakfast, you can drink your breakfast. Also, how are you doing, man? Good to see ya. Okay. What are we thinking for rating? Man, that's delicious. I'm gonna give it, uh... I'm gonna say 92 out of 100. That's my guess. They made that really, really well. Uh, let me see if I can find it really quick. Okay, so it's called Bianca. Omni Poyo. I'm beer advocate. Holy smokes, I'm good at this. It is 92 out of 100. It is rated outstanding. It says it's, wait, this one says it's 3.5% ABV. I am not looking at the right thing. Come on, we messed up. I'll be wrong now. This is raspberry maple. No, it's the wrong website. Come on, come on. Ah, there's not enough ratings. So I got three ratings on here, but they are quite high. It's got a 4.39 out of 5. It's got a 4.34 out of 5 and a 4.41 out of 5. So that is... I'm not going to math that out. So that is, that's a pretty good rating. That's pretty, pretty close. Pretty close to what I said. Uh, that was definitely very good. Do you recommend it? Just for something, like, you're not going to drink a lot of these, I don't think. If you can find a build-your-own six-pack, try it out. It's, it's really interesting. The reason it's considered a sour, I would say, is because of that natural raspberry flavor. It's delicious. Natural, natural raspberries their natural sour flavor. All right, guys, beer number three. We're on to the Rodenbach Classic. This is your Belgian sour ale, oak aged. So the, the sour is probably gonna come from the oak aging, I guess. Am I doing any norms or ARAMs today? I will do... No, I want to play some more rank. I want to get some more pike games in. Oh, you see League? Rip, we're on the wrong one. What have we done? Thank you, Kyle. Oh, it's, it's, it's kind of light. It is, it's a sour, not a very strong sour. drinkable. It's very drinkable. Oh, 
One more. Rodenbach, classic. We're gonna rate that. I'll give it an 85. Let's go with 85 out of 100. Let's check. Let's check. Rodenbach. Classic. Belgian Sour Ale. See the ABV. Five percent. Now it's the wrong bottle. Goodbye, Belgian sour ale. Okay, now I, I see the can here. Hard time finding this one. I want to talk about the pain on my chest and the stress that I feel. I want to talk about the lies I've been told and the search for what's real. Can we talk about? I don't see it anywhere, guys. I mean, I, I'm going to say it's an 85 out of 100. That's my guess. I I have no information beyond that. I can't find anything about it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's switching the league. Okay. Anyways, beer number four. We're, we're on to the Lost Signal. This is the just their lager, local brewery. Remember, support your local brewery as much as you can. Whew. It smells almost peanut buttery. It's not going to taste like peanut butter. I need like a palate cleanse up to the sours. Do it again. It works. Well, it's not a bad. It's not a bad lager. Just smooth. It's smooth. Uh, I'll rate it probably an eighty out of a hundred. Nothing crazy. Just normal lager. Let's see if we can find it online. Uh, so it's only got one rating. They give it a 4.11 out of 5. What they rate? Poured from a can, copper in color with a white head, smells of malt, caramel, and grain. Malty caramel flavor really comes through as smooth and flavorful. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay, well, let's move on to beer number 5. This is, uh, no, let's, I'm going to save the pepper one for last. It seems interesting. It seems to be the most interesting one we got out of the group. There have been some really, really good ones here. Okay, we're going to go with uh, the Monk and the Honey. Are we still on? Okay, we're still on the camera. Good. So the Monk and Honey, once again, is this can. It is by East... Wait. Brewed by Torn Label Brewing Company out of Kansas City, Missouri. I'm not smelling any honey. It's 
smells very light. Hmm. It's pretty tasty. Let's see if there's any, any notes on the can. Our Belgian-inspired table beer balances soft sweetness with light spice notes from the Belgian yeast. Producing a unique tea and honey quality. We use local honey to give the, uh, this beer a distinctively Midwestern twist. It is 6.1% ABV. Okay, yeah, it's nice and light. Fairly good, interesting, interesting. I'd recommend trying it out. Monk and honey, let's look it up. Corn label, monk and honey. So I didn't rate it myself, but it is rated 83 out of 100. It has a good rating overall. So there's, I only see one rating on here. No, there's several. Uh, love this beer. Has a little bit of a farmhouse ale taste to it. The honey is there, but also some floral and citrus. Pretty golden color and a small head, which disappears quickly. But I love this beer. Yeah, it's not a bad, not a bad try. All right, guys. Here's here's the one that we're interested in today. This is the one that I've been questioning. It's the Little Lucy's Hot Pepper Ale. The road to ale is peppered with good intentions. Golden ale with serrano and jalapeno peppers added. You can... Oh, don't put it on your nose. God, what are you doing? Idiot. Oh, it smells hot. It smells hot. All right, cheers. It's got some heat to it. Not horrible, but because it's in a liquid, it literally hits your entire mouth at the same time. So... I don't, I don't actually taste any beer. I only taste pepper. That's all, that's all I taste. There, there's no beer flavor. It's just pepper. That's my third try. It's just peppers, man. I'll give it a 75 out of 100. I mean, novelty beer, it, see, it seems interesting, but I, there's, there's no beer flavor whatsoever. Little Lucy's Hot Pepper. Yeah, okay, let's look it up. What did I say, 75 out of 100? Ooh, don't burp. Don't burp. Yeah, it's rated 76 out of 100. It, it looks like it's made for novelty. So, uh, what do we got for, for ratings here? Of course, a slightly opaque, fiery pepper orange. The white head is quick to appear and disappear, leaving behind no lace. Smells of serrano and jalapeno peppers. The taste starts subtle with little hints of pepper and ale. Before you're building into a bit of serrano jalapeno, jalapeno pepper heat roar. Certainly not the spiciest beer, but if you find Tabasco sauce hot, be careful. The feel is rather dull with a slight watery finish. Overall, it's certainly an interesting beer, especially for those who find a thrill in eating and or drinking spicy foods or drinks. Yeah. So, nothing nothing crazy beer flavor-wise, but it's interesting to be drinking spices like that. Anyways, how do we, how do we want to rate these? Um, here, look, I gotta pour a little bit in all of them again. Give me a try. 
get that. The initial sour was real good. The raspberry maple pancake was pretty nuts. So thick though, like you're pouring some syrup. Gear, it's gonna be one of these first two that were number one. They might be number one or number two. Okay. Let's make space. We're gonna. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the. Uh, what, the 11th hour or 11th labor? Man, that's. I'm putting that number one. The the pancake one is nuts, man. I get, you will not drink more than one of these in a sitting, and if you do, there's something wrong with you. But I'm drooling drinking it. It is very interesting, very decent. That's gonna be our number one. Um, yeah, let's try the Rodenbach again. Oh, just a, a drinkable sour ale. Not bad. I don't, I'm not sure where to put it. That's a lager. Yeah. Okay, we'll put the honey number three. Let's try, okay, so that's it's between the Rodenbach and the Lager now. That's the Lager. That is the Sour. I like the Sour a little better. A little better. The Pepper one's going to be last. It's dead last. Flavor-wise, it is dead last. He made it! Now he can confirm all of my, my choices here. All right, guys, this is a father-in-law. It is his birthday today. Say happy birthday, old man. He's rolling down the hill as we speak. Crested. What year is it? 50. It's the big 50, guys. He is 50 today. We're going to get him liquored up here real quick, and then I'm not telling you what's going on afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are so what do we got? We got some... Or what? Plugins? Plugins? Juice from my phone. Um, let's plug in here. What, what kind of? Yeah. Um, Type C. Fruity phone. Fruity phone. What's that Apple. mean? Apple? Do they have only Apple plugins? Are you Everything kidding? Apple is proprietary. Ah, so stupid. Okay. Anyways, okay. So we're gonna get them in on these. I got them listed in my ranking order right now. So guys, I've got number one. Uh, Bianca by Omnipoyo. It's, here, it's... What, Peacock Feather? You can't read the words. It's the uh, Raspberry Maple Pancake uh, Lassie Goes. That's a lot. It's a lot to put in your mouth. And that may or may not be what she said. Uh, the 11th Labor from the Ibex Cellar by Schliffley. This is number two. Very, very good as well. You have to wheel one in from the uh, living room. We'll get one in there. Number three was Monk and Honey, brewed by Torn Label Brewing Company. Number four is the Rodenbach Classic. We've got the Lost Signal Logger. We'll put it at number five. And all, all these five were good. And then we've got the Little Lucy's Hot Pepper Ale. Dead last, number six. All you taste of the peppers, no beer flavor. Interesting, it just... What kind of pepper? Serrano and jalapeno. Nothing crazy. You're not gonna die. No just, ghost pepper. I mean, the way you were going with some of the others, I wondered if it was, like, black pepper. Oh, or okay, pepper. okay. Right, right, I guess they do. That might be a thing, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna get him set up here on these beers. Beer number one, this is the 11th flavor. I thought the pink one was the best. 
Yeah, but we're not going in order. We're going in order of how I had them sitting. I see. Can't lose that order. I like the smell. It's almost like an apple cider. Right? It's a sour, but they they remove a lot of that vinegar flavor, right? But it also reminds me of an ap apple cider. Very, very effervescent, too. What does that mean? It's got a lot of bubbles in it. Yeah, it does. They do real good with that. It's like a champagne kind of bubble. Right? Tasty? I thought that was what I was supposed to do. No, was it tasty? It's all right. Yeah? For a sour. Okay, okay. Um, number two, let's get you a little, little more in the cup. That is your raspberry oh. maple pancake. And that was your favorite? I rated it the best, man. It's I wouldn't drink a lot of it. I one Good can Lord. a year, maybe. I've got diabetes just smelling it. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. It is like drinking syrup. That's what it smells like. Well, you Missouri people hating on sours makes me sad. Come on. Nope. Nope. Nope, he noped nope. it. You don't get that fresh raspberry sour flavor? Yeah, I get the sour and some raspberry and... <laughs> you, you gotta move this way. Nobody can, nobody can see your reaction. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah, that one's a no. It's... He noped it. He noped number one. All right, what do we got? We got the... It makes my face squinny. No. <laughs> Natural raspberry sour. Okay, here's the Rodenbach. This is a Belgian sour ale, oak aged. All about the sours, huh? Yeah, I got three of them this time. I don't know what happened. Why? I'm sure. Didn't they have better beer? Ah. Uh, I'm sure they. You're, hurt, you're hurting people's feelings right now. <laughs> hurting people's feelings over here. It's got the betas. Again, like a like a cider. Not nearly as tart as the ibex. You mean that one? No, that one was sickly sweet. <laughs> the first one, the, the the eleventh flavor or whatever. Yeah. Not nearly as sour as that one. Um, much smoother. I don't care for sours, and I would drink that. Yeah, it, I thought they did real well with it. It was real smooth. Yep. No, that oh, one's not drink bad. it, drink it. You didn't finish your other one. You gotta finish that raspberry. <laughs> when monkeys fly out your butt. Oh boy. I, the reason I was off camera was so I would lick my armpit to get the taste out of my mouth. <laughs> hey, whatever works. That one's, that one's decent. Okay, this is... That is a lager by Lost Signal. That is a local brewery. Cool can. The parents actually have kids at the center, so be gentle. I like that label a great deal. Brian's cool. They did cool with mm -hmm. that. I like the tower. Not really much snow. Just just, just a basic I, lager. Yeah, I don't know that that's a bad thing. But. Right, right. You don't always have to drink pancakes. I like that a lot. Yeah, real smooth, right? Real, real decent lager. Yeah, very, very good. V very um, subdued, subtle. I don't mind what that is. Well, I guess we're doing it in order. And I did this one last. I don't know if you need more in this. <laughs> I don't know. You said the pancake thing was good, so. Uh, I mean, I didn't say. I never said this was good. This is rated last. None of the. Right, but what I'm saying is you said that was good, True. and I believed you, so, so it could go the other way. You licked your that. armpit to get the flavor out, so yeah. licking your armpit and pepper beer, you might like this. That was my point. Might be might That's be. That's my good. favorite so far. That one? Yep. Yeah? Because it's not sour? Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's just simple and good. Yeah. I agree. It was a good lager. Yep. And again, the label was... Okay, you could probably smell it from there. Have you shown them the, that label? The, yeah, I've shown all of them. Try to get them all on there so they can go to the store wow. and try to buy them. 
You smell all the pepper. But it's you smell all... that with with capsicum oil too. And I haven't made any of that that I didn't like. Well, good good luck. I think they did good at what they were going for. Like a novelty beer. No, it it. I taste. Yeah, you get the heat, but you taste the peppers too. And it's not a. It's not a ghost pepper heat where you're like, oh my god, my face is melting down. Right. I think they did a really good. Am I a fan? Do I want a six pack? No. <laughs> but I think they did a really good job of marrying jalapenos into an ale. I agree. You, I agree. You know that it jalapenos or whatever. You know that it's got peppers in it. You taste them. You smell them. There's a very manageable amount of heat. Um, and it's an ale. So, am I a fan? No. But, I'm also not a big pepper fan. Yeah. You know, I think, I think they executed really well. It's just not... I mean, they probably executed the syrup thing really well, too, but right. none of those flavors were for me. <laughs> <laughs> and that needs to be cold. It is cold. No, it's not. That They just came out of the fridge. Feel that. It's not even condensating. It needs the, to be... The peppers are too hot for it to be cold. But it would be... Have you ever had a frozen jalapeno? No. It's amazing. It's ice crystals and that spark from the capsaicin at the same time. They're delicious. And if this was... Capsicum milk pops. I don't know about that. It's a business. Business idea. You guys take it. I got uh, intellectual property right there. Um, yes, Kyle. He's on the spicy beer right now. Yeah, that needs to be... That needs ice crystals floating in it. Yeah. Then something to cool down the heat, balance it a little bit. Well, it would be a contrast, like the frozen jalapeno. It is. It's cold. They all came out of the fridge. It's, it's not. This this one's condensating. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm they, telling you, it's not. They cold. came out of the fridge at the same time. It's been in the fridge overnight. Right. And how long ago did they come out? Fifteen minutes. Right before you got here. You started at three. It's I just three. went through six. I opened them all, poured them all, drank them all, and you walked in. It needs was, to be cold. <laughs> that if that had ice crystals floating in it yeah I, I don't dislike that right that's why I rated it last so I didn't say that there was anything bad I thought it had a nice novelty idea they did well with the pepper flavors but it's not something that I would choose to sit down and drink fun once fun once I'm telling you get another one put it in the freezer for 15-20 minutes It'd, it'd and then drink whole, something else? <laughs> it'd be a whole different thing. <laughs> this is poor to follow that with. Is it? Yeah. I, I wasn't sure which order to put them in. Because that, that's going to overwhelm your, your yeah, taste buds. Yeah, still, I'm still sparkling in my mouth. Here, rinse it with this. No. I knew an old gal that was like that once. <laughs> oh, Spark, man. Sparkled in her mouth. What? It's a long story. Oh man, I think the stream wants details. I thought it was having air. No, it's it's uh, serrano pepper and jalapeno. And Those the, are the two. The serrano is what puts it over the top. I assume they can hear me. Yeah, this mic should be picking up everything here. We're yeah, but now I have a big black thing in for your face. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Not falling for that trick the fifth <laughs> time. Oh man, twenty bucks is twenty bucks, man. I do what you got to do. I don't know if it's because of the peppers. Yeah, probably just chug something here. Chug it. Is it's just the, the base Belgian sour. No, I want, I want the lager. Yeah, okay. Okay, of course you want the lager. It was your favorite. But it's it's a base beer. It'll be a nice reset. 
That one, oh, I'm holding it. It is Ale Brewed with Honey. Our Belgian inspired table beer balances soft sweetness with light spices, notes, or spice notes from the Belgian yeast, producing a unique tea and honey quality. We use local honey to give this beer a distinctly Midwestern twist. That would be better if it was cold. <laughs> it's say that. it's meh. Yeah. Yeah. They cheaped out on the honey. Yeah. The where's the what's the one? What's the one that Jesse likes really well? Likes what? What do you mean? There's a a brand of of beer that comes in a can. Um. A lot of them do that. Yeah, but it, it's. A... She had you get some the last time, the last time you went. Um, the Black Widow. Yeah. Okay, Black Widow cider, <laughs> blackberry cider. Very good. If you guys have never had the Black Widow cider, I want to think definitely try it out. I want to think it's Black Widow that makes one that's a honey ale, and they use a really. I mean, you can taste the quality of the honey in the beer. Not just that there's honey there, but it's good honey. And that doesn't. No? No. I agree. I rated it lower on the... So order-wise, where would you rate these? <coughs> well, we... This would be last. He would rate this last? Yeah. Last sure. on the, the pink one. Um, I don't remember which one of the sours I liked least. I'm missing the can here somewhere no that's we're not a, that's a close second to last yeah close second to last yeah yeah I think you liked that one the most of the sours yep that's the one that reminds me of a, a cider yeah and that's the one that's real effervescent yeah okay. that one even as a sour that and this would be one and I don't know where I'd put those two. I would probably put them in the I don't list. know. If, so I'd go one, two, then maybe the honey. Again, the hot pepper ale. Yeah. You could put it before the, the sours. Oh, yeah. And and I don't, I'm not sure which way. I think I would go here. Pepper in the middle. Yep. Honey for lack of quality. Yep, exactly. Because while I'm not, I'm not crazy about the pepper one. I think they executed their concept really well. Right. The fact that, I mean, to me, this is the opposite. Right. Poor execution yeah. on the beer. They added yeah. the flavors, but they did not bring them out as well as they could have. Right. Um, somebody that likes <clears throat> spicy. What would you? Would you it's jalapeno and what? Serrano pepper. Yeah, see, Serrano, and that's why it's not overwhelming. They didn't go with, like, a ghost pepper. Something, what of those something exists, like that. though? Um, but, and Serranos have a bit of heat to them. And you get the heat out of it, but it's like it's like a good capsicum ale, Except it's jalapeno when you get the fruitiness of the jalapeno and the spice of the jalapeno... And the sweet of the honey. I mean, this isn't a honey uh, brew, so you don't have that sweet to contrast the heat, but they executed the spicy fruitiness. It, it's not just the spice. It's the fruitiness of the peppers that's there. Mm -hmm. You get the, the pepper flavor for sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I think they, they they did really well on on what they produced. It's just not something that I'm crazy about. Um, and I think that the, the honey one is just the opposite of that. They, they, they went profit over quality and honey's expensive. So we'll just put less of it in there. And it's true. It's the cheapest we can. It's true. Um, and then the sour, that sour was, I don't like sours, period. Right. Uh, I did, I did like that one, but that yeah. one is, is two and I, this is rated 96 out of 100. World class rated beer. But you've got to like sours to appreciate it. 
50%. 50% of people are below average, so I'm in that 1% that, that doesn't care for that. And and I don't know I, I don't know what you could have done to make that more and and sour at the same time. What are you looking for? This? Yeah. It's a dessert beer. They were just they were trying to bring out the flavors of all the crazy things they put in it. And that's part of the problem is it's crazy things. It is. The agreed. only... But did they capture the raspberry maple pancake? The maple's there. There's little, a little really... Sip. No. You, can, you can have the lager when you're done. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hard no. I think they captured the... There's so much going on in there. There is a lot they going on it. in there. It, but it's not... I would never drink... I don't know if I'd drink a whole one of these, but... To know that they made something like that, I thought it was pretty cool. <clears throat> what is the uh, Smith's uh, chocolate stout? Samuel Smith? Yeah. Those are amazing, but you can only drink about one of them. Yeah. They're really, really sweet, but it is a chocolate stout. I've got about stout. every other Samuel Smith up there, but I haven't had the chocolate stout really? yet. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I even, when I lived in Texas, I even found the workaround on it. They were like... Sixteen dollars a bottle, but they put them on the mix and match six packs that were ten bucks. Hey, deal, <laughs> deal. Yeah, um, but they it really, really delicious dessert chocolate stout. Just exactly what it says. You could taste the chocolate in it, but it was very much a one and done. That there's too much. I mean, I make mead. Out of honey. Hey, and Daniel, wine. welcome, man. And that's too sweet. Chat's just... here, by the way, if you see anything you want to answer. I, I was looking back and forth, but all I keep seeing is the... Is this your dad? We pretend sometimes when I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Anyways, guys, his order, <laughs> his lineup, number one, the Lost Signal Lager. We got that as number one right there. That's, well, I mean, that's just Lost Signal, but here's their label. Cool label. Good beer. Good beer overall. I read it pretty well. I like yeah. I like the sours too. I wanted to be more open to the sour idea. Uh, number two, he rated it Rodenbach Classic, the uh, the Belgian sour ale. Very much like a cider. Very effervescent. Number three, he went with Little Lucy's Hot Pepper Ale. He really liked how they uh, how they pulled that off, bringing out the what the the flavor of the pepper, but also the spiciness, right? Yep. Uh, number four, you got the Monk and Honey, brewed by Torn Label Brewing Company. Number five, he went with the 11th Labor Ibex, or from the Ibex Cellar of Schlafly. It is the that's, sour ale brewed with apricots. That's a Schlafly? It is. Wow. I don't know, maybe his sours go, it's really good. World class. But One of the top. There's crap in the bottom of the bottle. Yeah, it might be bottle condition. Um, and then the Bianca Omni Pollo Raspberry Maple Pancake. Nasty. If you guys like a lot in your mouth, go with the peacock feather. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up with that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll go ahead and post that on social media things. Uh, let, us, let us know what you think. If you guys try them out, let me know.